We finished the first version of the Savings Interest Program. Now let's build the program and test it. Building succeeded. Five years. Okay. Oh, something looks wrong here. These numbers are way too large. Actually, why would they have grown so quickly? Uh, looks like we did not divide our rate by 100. Rate is 5%, but to make that into a percentage, we have to divide by 100. Okay. Now let's build it and test again. Building succeeded. All right. Now let's give it another try with the five years. Okay, that's not right either. The interest rate doesn't seem to be working. Why would that be? Well, rate is the number five. The variable rate is the number five, and it's an integer. And if you divide five by 100 in the integer world, you end up with zero. So we're going to change rate to double. And we'll build. Again, oh, here we're getting some warnings. Warnings related to typecasting from a double to an int. So we're going to go ahead and just tell the compiler it's OK. We intended to do that, typecasting to int. Oh, we still have a warning. Not typecasting the entire expression, which is typecasting a portion. So let's put parentheses around that expression. Okay. There, the building has succeeded. Now let's test the program. Again, let's enter in five years, and those numbers look good. Ten years looks good, too. Okay, excellent. We can expand the program by also outputting by what factor our total savings have increased since the beginning. We calculate that by the final savings divided by the initial savings. Once we've finished writing the code, let's build and test. The factor should be something like 1.2154. Ten-year factor does not look correct either. Looks like it's truncated the decimal, probably because we're dividing by integers. So let's typecast that calculation to be a double, build, and test. That did not solve our problem. Why? Because we did the calculation with integers still. Then typecast to double. So let's independently typecast the variables to be doubles before the division. And then build and test our solution. The factor is looking better, but we don't quite have the right value. The factor is still too high. Why is that? Let's take a look at the code. In the code, we are outputting and then doing a savings calculation, which means that our savings calculation is always a year ahead, as in the next year, which means that the increase by factor of calculation is using one additional year's worth of savings. So we reorder the output of the savings and the calculation of the savings. 
Let's build and test. Uh, good, the factor is accurate after five years and after 10 years.